you gotta get mine. I don't know about y'all, that's the bottom line. I don't know about you, gotta get mine. I don't know about y'all, that's the bottom line. I don't know about you, gotta get mine. What's up, YT family? What's going on? T Mac, I'm a boy here. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to show you guys. We're getting ready to do a um, <clears throat> how to install um, under counter lights in your kitchen because I wanted some, I don't have any. Um, I think what a few days ago, uh, I was gonna go, you know, want to go buy some. So I was getting ready to, you know, I'm used to buying the lights and wiring them up, fishing them in the wall, do all the wiring and all that. Man, they got some under counter lights now that wireless. So you don't have to run no wires, man, off the chain. So um, show you guys on how to install them. Very easy, awesome. All right, check this out. Let's walk over here. Let's go in the kitchen. So, all right, those are my counters. Um, I want to do, I'm getting ready to turn this around real quick. Um, let me hit the flip button, watch this. Okay. I'm going to do zoom it down that counter my gate for Zeus my dog and you got to stay out of the can't go in the dining room area so got it blocked off okay uh, I want to put can lights under here that counter um, this counter so I got three actually I got six one there, that's two. And then one here by my TV I mounted, my screen I mounted under the counter. So one, so those three counters, one, two, three. So yeah, that's my flat screen that I put under the counter because I always sit here at the island. That's where I sit every time I walk in the house. I might be there for two, three hours. That's my spot. So instead of sitting there and turning around and looking at that screen, you know, neck hurting and all that. So I decided to mount one right there. But that's not the topic. So we're going to skip that. But anyway, okay, check it out. Here's my, here's the lights. They come three in a pack three in a pack and they come with this remote the remote so let's check this out let's see you can change the colors turn them on they on they're bright too LEDs you can dim them you can change the color to red blue green and but I'll be using white I'm going to turn them off because um, as a timer. So I was worried about, you know, I like to leave them on as night lights. So, you know, brother like to come down the stairs every now and then, dehydrated, walk into the fridge. Instead of turning on lights, I got my undercounter lights to grab some water or something. So we have, um, you know, you can set it for 15 minutes. 60 minutes, 120 minutes, or 30 minutes, and it'll cut off by itself. Awesome. So, um, here we go. So, let me let me show you guys this real quick. Um, the back of it. Hold on. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay. Show you guys these fixtures. So, Check it out. On the back of them, that's the two holes. That's what you use to mount to the cabinet. So they're going to mount like this, the light facing down. 
So you just twist. Let me show you one real quick. Flip it over. So you twist it. Twist. And it comes off. That's the plate. So you want to mount this. So you see those little those little teeth that catches. So under the counter, you want it to be like this under the counter. These grooves facing down. So you take two screws. They come with screws. Take these two holes. And they got real little tiny screws, man. About real tiny. So I wouldn't use a drill because you'll stri strip them out. So they so tiny you can, you know, just use a screwdriver. And so they're real tiny. So here we go. Let's turn it around. All right, let's get started installing. Check this out. Let y'all check me out. I'm gonna install those three. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to put one here. So I'm gonna leave these down and just put the brackets on. These are the three brackets. Just a twist. And once again, twist. And you want you want the back side, the smooth side, going to the cabinet. So this is the cabinet, the bottom of the cabinet. You want the smooth side, boom, because you want those teeth. So when you put them back, this is the bottom of the cabinet. So when you, and you twist and they lock on like that. Okay, here we go. So we'll put one here, do that one. Remember just the plate. One here, center of the cabinet. And one here, Sarah, the cabinet. So, I'm taking the screwdriver. So, that one, just two screws. Okay, that's one. This one, real quick, real simple, because the screws are real tiny. Well, make sure that's center, center of the cabinet. So screwdriver, just anybody can do it. But real tiny, man. So you're just catching the wood. About three turns they is, but you want make sure the screws are flat. That you don't have to go all the way up to it stops. And you want it flat. So when you put the um the, the fixture in, it go all the way in and turn and it locks. And then one more over here. Make sure I'm in the center of the cabinet for me. Oh, okay. So that's that. Then we just snap these in. I got six because I'll tell you what I want to do with the other three. So we take these. This one first, and take it. Oh, and oh, they have batteries in it. Let me show you guys. The batteries are already in them. The batteries are included, so it's three, and they're LEDs, so they last a long time, long time. So they're, these are called puck lights under counter puck lights, like a hockey puck. So, we'll take this. I already got the, the uh, bracket plate from the back of this. And I line it up with it. And once you get it in, turn. It's a short turn and it clicks and it locks. And that's it. So, Okay, 
Okay. And one more. See, that simple. Okay. The other three I have, I'm just going to place. Let me show you guys real quick. See this again? See that? This is the plate. And so it fits in and twist. That's it. It's on. So these, the three, the other three I got, I'm not going to screw those down because what I want to do, I want to put them on the top. So I want to put one because I want it to shine up on the ceiling. So one there. One, because I got one here in the center. I'm gonna put another one in the center of the cabinet. Just gonna, I'm just gonna set it on top of the cabinet. That's it. I don't, I don't have to screw this down because, you know, what I'm saying it can just stay on top. And the third one, I'm gonna set it up there. But I want mine touching the wall. Push it all the way back to the wall, center of this one, so it can shine on the wall. So. That's what I'm getting ready to do, you guys. So I'm getting ready to set these up. I need to go get a ladder. I'm just gonna set them in place, right in the center of those, but towards the wall. So when you back up, you're walking in, you won't see anything. And you don't even see the lights. The pub lights I got under the counter now, so don't see anything. So, all right, here we go. Um, I'm getting ready to go get a ladder. And I'm going to get on the ladder and just set the other three on top. All right. Stay tuned. T-Mang Hummer Boy. All right. T-Mang Hummer Boy. I'm back. So um, it only took for me to do that two, three minutes. So all I did is got a ladder and just laid them on top, center of the ones that I already mounted. So let's check them out, y'all. Let's make sure it works using the remote so um three come to a three comes in a pack three puck lights with with the remote with the remote so if you buy um three more um eight more or whatever as long as you get the same one same brand the remote will work on all eight all 12 or whatever it just comes with a remote um, for three and they have the same frequency so if you want to add more which I saw I bought six so three to a pack and a remote per three so I don't need to I use put the remote up as a spare because one remote works all six so let's check it out. All right, let me turn this around so you guys can see it. See what we're working with. Yeah, see what we got. See what we got. Check it out. Okay, let me let me let me shrink it a little bit. Okay, you guys, let's check it out. Okay. One's not working, so let me get close and hit it again. There you go. So check it out, y'all. Nice. I'm finna dim, dim this light real quick so you guys can see. See what it looks like. Man, that's nice. So that's it. I got one. Let me turn my TV off. Turn my television off. So, boom. So we get okay because I'm out one where, where the TV was. So that's it, man. Under counter lights, wireless. How to install. So that's red. Change them red. Change them blue. It's tight. And we can change them green. So, I like the white. There we go, light. And they dim. They dimmable. 
and you can put it on a setting that it'll change colors. It'll change all three colors every like 30 seconds if you like. But I don't want to do all that. I just wanted some just white. And you can dim those as well. So um, that's it, you guys. How to install wireless remote under counter lights. So that's nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to turn the light back on. So they still still can see them. Hit the remote, turn them off. Boom, that's it. That's it, you guys. How to install under counter lights. What's up, Zeus? There goes Zeus. You know, get out of the kitchen. Get out, get out of the kitchen. Zeus. Out. Out. Get out. Get out of the kitchen. You know he, he's not allowed in the kitchen, so we don't do that over here. So, anyway. T-Mac Hummer Boy out. How to install wireless undercounter lights. Oh, I forgot the very important thing to tell you guys. Hey, um, I got those at Home Depot. Home Depot. So, no excuse. All right, T-Mac, I'm a boy out. You guys, please subscribe. So, I uh, appreciate my subscribers for supporting my T-Mac, I'm a boy YouTube page. Thank you very much. So, um, to all my new subscribers, stay tuned for a lot of how-to and all that good stuff. So um, please subscribe, please share, and please hit the thumbs up button, y'all. And don't forget to hit the uh, the alert button. Um, when you hit subscribe, you'll see a little bell. Touch that bell, and then it should be a drop down, drop box, and then hit um, all. So there you go, T Mac, I'm a boy out. Y'all be safe. God bless. Always keep God first. And we'll chat later. See you back. boy out. Peace. Yo, what's up? See you back. boy. I forgot. A uh, few of my subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the love. Wanted me to, a uh, couple of them wanted to see the fish aquarium again. So that I, um, all my new subscribers. I done one on the fish aquarium, so you can go back and check it out. But um, here it is. Turn it around. That's my aquarium that I installed. So it's beautiful. I like it. It's like a serenity. Uh, just I just love the just wind me down. It's like just looking at it, real soothing. I like hearing the sound. And turn the light out a little bit. Turn this light out so you guys can see it. So I have it at my entrance when you first come in the front door, and boom, you see it. So I have it kind of flushed in the wall. So any questions on the fish aquarium? Please leave a comment. I'll hit you back, let you know all the details. What, what size is a 55 inch, 55 gallon? Okay, you guys. Turn it back on, light back on. But that's my fish aquarium. I set it in in the wall and then put some trim and frame around it. Painted and matched to everything else. So that's it. All right, that's for my subscribers that want to see the fish aquarium one more time. All right, T-Mac, I'm boy out. Y'all take it easy. Be safe. T-Mac, I'm boy out. Peace.